Hello strength fans, Tyler Harnett with MetalPerformance.ca coming at you with a video all about ab training. So I wanted to talk briefly about uh, the, way, the style in which we like to program ab training. Your spine does lots of things. Uh, it rotates, it flexes and extends. And as a power lifter or a strongman or Olympic weight lifter, it's my opinion that you're always trying to be in a nice neutral position. Rarely would you want to be rounded. You know, strong men will do that uh, when they're loading a stone, but it's, you know, they're not trying to do that when they're deadlifting or other events. Uh, Olympic weightlifters would rarely be in a, in a flex position, and a power lifter never wants to be in a flex position. So it's my opinion that I don't like to do a lot of flexion in ab training, so I don't really program a lot of crunches or sit ups or things like this. There are powerlifters and coaches out there who've gotten super strong, including um, you know the best of the best. Ed Cohn used to do uh, lots of loaded um, sit-ups, but I just don't. F I've felt for me and in my own training and in my own coaching that um, there's a much better way of ab training. So I've got once again my favorite model, strapping Steve Walsh. We've been fighting over the uh, camera angle this whole time in the setup. Um, I'm, we're going to demonstrate a very easy. Uh, beginner way of getting into um, ab training. This is an anti-flexion, meaning uh, your body is fighting against flexion exercise. Really simple, called a plank, okay? So, uh, you know, week one for you guys, I would probably have you do three sets of 30 seconds of a body weight plank. And a lot of times I get answers back saying, well, that's easy, I can plank for two minutes. Well, I don't want you guys phoning in those 30 seconds. I want you squeezing as hard as humanly possible, squeezing your abs, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your legs, and you'll notice like even a guy who's in super shape like Steve here will begin to shake after, you know, five seconds or so. So just go ahead and set up. So really important points on this. We don't want to internally rotate our shoulders. We do that enough during regular life. We want to keep nice and neutral. So go ahead, buddy, and he has his feet together. His body is completely in line here. And if I was to bop him, uh, he's bracing his abs like he's gonna take a punch, okay? Sorry, I don't know if you expect me to do that, but um, so you can come out of there, my man. So you notice like after about 10 seconds, he started to tremble and that's because he's squeezing super hard, okay? So I might, week one, you might do three sets of 30 seconds. Week two, three sets of 30, 45 seconds. Week three, three sets of 60 seconds. When you get to week three, you'll go to week four. Uh, a lot of times we'll have you guys go back to three sets of 30 seconds and we'll load up a plate. So I'll have you just set up into, um, into a plank again, Steve. And just, I want you guys to take like a 40, regular 45 pound plate, have your training partner go ahead, load this towards your lower back. And once again, we wanna make sure we keep this nice straight position. He's bracing his abs hard and you're squeezing as hard as humanly possible, okay? so. Eat really simple for that. Week one, three sets of 30 seconds. Week two, three sets of 45 seconds. Week three, three sets of 60 seconds, okay? So that's six weeks of training um, that you guys can do that will definitely make your center, your core, whatever you want to call it, that, that you guys connect to stronger. It'll carry over to all your lifts, and uh, from there you can implement uh, different ab training. So if you guys have any questions about how to implement this or how it works in your programming, please feel free to reach out. And once again, as always, thanks for tuning in.